Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we're back. We're going to be doing Kimi K2 Thinking Except. We're going to see how well it runs on a single Mac Studio. This is the 512 edition. And we now got a spaceship flying around. Okay, that, that's pretty cool. And we're going to be quantizing it down to run it on one of these and showing you the quality you can get when you run it just on one of these guys. Previously, we ran it across two Macs. We got a 128 MacBook Pro and a 512 Mac Studio using distributed compute, combining the memory together to get it running, except now we're doing it on one. I already started working on this and I was just so impressed that I just had to share it, that's why. So I've got it running here on a Mac Studio. Now I had to do some special command. I had to use sudo syscontrol wired limit and I made it 507,000 megabytes. So you can see if I go to an activity monitor, I am running on edge on that device. I'm using up 507 gigabytes right now out of the 512 gigabytes because I've been you know, already using it. Now regarding the answers, I'm getting out of this 3.825 bit. That's the largest quant I can get on this bad boy. Again, really, really good answers. So the boy's father, who is the surgeon to the boy? It said that the, the surgeon is the boy's father, 100% surgeon is the boy's father, 100% he knows that stuff. But he also gave me the inclusion that the classic version, it should be the mother. So it's very, very smart there. No, you should not pull the lever. There was some people that noticed that the actual online version of communicating with thinking, it said you should pull the lever. So the, the, the offline local version is saying, no, you should not pull the lever, that's smart. And it's got the contract, it's giving you some issues on how to do contract. Now, what impressed me the most of this, and I've got to show you this demonstration because it was sublime, is this is this guy right here. Just look, asked it to make a 3D solar system that's spectacular. It gave me this bit of code, and unfortunately it didn't compile. There was compile errors, so it didn't work, but I gave it the runtime errors, and it printed out 3,500 tokens, and this demo, it just looks spectacular. Just look here right there. Now, I am, pretty much on the edge of the computer, but let's just see if we can add in that spaceship that we did previously. So memory wise, we can see that we've dropped down because I've started a new conversation and it's just prompt processing the old conversation, 7,000 tokens in future release. We're gonna be having checkpointing, which means it will save the prompt progress along the way, which means if you switch conversations and back, rather than having to reprocess everything, it will just jump back into the closest checkpoint and it should run a lot faster. But memory wise, it's down from 507 to 493 gigabytes. So we got, another 10 gigabytes of context window to play with this demonstration. Previously, I was, I was modifying a contract. Someone sent me a contract. Just, I was using Kimi Kato thinking to think about some inclusions, about making sure that they can't use certain things with the contract. But yep, we're at 497 gigabytes of use and we're printing 15 tokens a second. And to make it really interesting, what I'm gonna do, I'm also gonna ask it, can you make a 3D flappy birds word processor what is the meaning of life is japan part of china political geopolitical questions i've got spiritual questions i've got i'm asking to make a word presser app, processor app apparently it can do that now for context i'm also running background applications on my mac studio i'm uploading this model to hugging face so that's uh, using a lot of bandwidth nine gigabyte file each and so far we've hit 504 gigabytes of memory usage. We've printed out 2,700 tokens. So 2,700 tokens plus we had 3,500 tokens and we had another 2,000 tokens. So that's 7,000, 8,000 tokens we printed out so far. Managing to fit it into the memory, 504 gigabytes used, 3,000 tokens. We're going at 13 tokens a second. All right, we are done. Add a fully controllable spaceship. We've got over 4,000 tokens at 13 tokens a second on average. Gonna hit that copy button and paste it into the window. And as a side note, we have started processing the next prompt. We're getting 26 tokens a second when it's fresh. So that old com conversation was like 10,000 tokens, cogged down all the way down to 13 tokens a second, but from fresh, 26 tokens a second, 600 tokens printed. So it's very, very fast processing. So let's see the new version. Hopefully it's gonna work. And no, unfortunately, some runtime errors. So it's a simple one. It says controls update is not a function. It's a simple, I'm just gonna paste that one in. It seems to be the same error. So I guess one of the problems with quantizing the model, especially when you go below four bit, you do get some sort of errors every now and then because it's not sure exactly what to do. I'm gonna see if I can paste this in, this error. 
And uh, let's see if we can figure it out like I did the first time around. So we've got context window of over 12,000 tokens and we're getting 10 tokens a second. So that's a very, very nice context window. Of course, you can go in hundreds of thousands if you got the processing power and the memory. But you know, we're just little people in this world trying to make our way, trying to just swim along the, the tide and see where we go. So 11 tokens a second. Let's see, is it gonna fix it? So it's unfortunately um, for our prompt, our, our processing situation is decided to print the complete fixed version. That's usually what, if you ever use those coding agents, they usually like the complete fixed version. Of course, as a smart person, it's told you, you just need to, in the animation loop, replace controls update with camera mode free controls update. That's so maybe I can just edit the code directly and maybe in future, maybe the way I'll prompt it as I've got a little bit of personal intelligence, I can just ask it for the code changes rather than the whole file altogether. So that's probably something you can do to save yourself. But as you can see at, at 500, at 13,000 tokens, we're using up 509 gigabytes of RAM. Our prompt process, our processing speed has come to a crawl of around six, 0.9 tokens a second. I guess the operating system now is having to play around with the memory, those last little bits. It doesn't know what to do with it because we, we specified 507,000 megabytes of wired memory for our application. And we can see Inferencer, we're using 488 gigabytes, but I've got Hugging Face. Maybe I'll just close down Hugging Face temporarily, get us a bit of memory back. If you shut down all of your applications, you will have more, probably 15,000 tokens plus to play with. Oh, unfortunately, 3,700 tokens and it's failed. I've ran out of juice. So that's probably 15,000 tokens, probably too big. I guess what you do when you get to this stage, you start having to trim the context window. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the previous run and I also give it the compile errors or the runtime errors, paste that in there and say, can you fix? So that way we've got a fresh context window. It's gonna run a lot faster this time. And uh, hopefully we're gonna get a good result. 24 tokens a second, this Flappy Bird is coming in. It's already done it, it's printed it out. So this is another demonstration we can do. So it hasn't got the whole Jimmy Figgy. <laughs> it's, it's got something that kind of jumps. <laughs> is it? Right. I think we're starting to see the limits of his comprehension is good, but you're going to have to work with it. It's going to be like a, a multiple prompt situation. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It actually wrote this code down, but it didn't actually stop. It started thinking again. It says, it said, that's a good start, but I should make it more complete and polished. So I didn't even need to prompt it. It decided to prompt itself and it's already printed out the next bit of code. So version two, let's see how it does copy. And what is this? Okay, that didn't go too well. That wasn't good. We messed up on that one. I'm really now surprised if this was a fluke. This, this was a fluke. Now we got the results for the word processor app. So that's good. It's printed out 2,500 tokens at 22 tokens a second. I'm hoping for a good result with this one. Hey, look at that. It's, oh, look, hello, hello world. That is awesome. And you can make the text bold. You can do huge, look, it's working. List, that is cool. And you got file save. You can save the document out. You can print, you got the print functionality. Hello. And uh, file open, you can open a file. Don't know what that will do, but you can save and open. It's got the it's got the word count here. You know, sometimes I actually got websites and I launch MS Word to get the word count. But here I've got the character count and the word count. So I actually just use this as a really fast way. Does it have different fonts? We got some different fonts. You can move the direction. It worked. I'm very, very happy that this worked because we were having a bit of struggles. I guess the 3D stuff with advanced stuff, maybe it gets a bit challenged with quantization, but look at this. We've got a nice word processor going here. What else have we got? That's good. Next up, we asked it, what is the meaning of life? It came up with some situation. It wants to vibe with me, but what I'm vibing with, it got 26 tokens a second. Boom, this one is lightning fast. So uh, yeah, you got some ideas here. Next one is, is Japan a part of China? Geopolitical questions, let's just see. Uh, direct answer, no. It's like, kind of nice, you can see what it thinks. I know, I know I'm not a big fan of these thinking models. Well, sometimes when it's concise and it just gets to it, it's all right, so it's kind of nice for debugging, I guess. So China is an island, 
Um, China is a larger country in Asia. Historically, Japan has never been part of China. Whoosh, that's nice. Okay, next up, free racing game. Uh, what is this? Whoa, what, what is this? <laughs> that's pretty cool. <laughs> it's got a fun racetrack as if like, maybe, maybe it's horse racing track. We do have movement. It, the controls are the opposite way around. So right goes left and left goes right and forward goes back and back goes forward. But it's definitely got some potential here. It's definitely going the right way. Okay, that's pretty good. That was, that's pretty good. It's salvaging it. It's, it's making a comeback, making a comeback. So it's a bit of a hit and miss. We got this spectacular three solar system. That was a two shot prompt that looked gorgeous. You got the one with the, the spaceship, which it broke it. 3D Flapper Bird didn't work out well. Word processor was amazing. Free racing game looking very, very good. We also had the puzzles. Japan is not part of China. The meaning of life. No, you should not pull the lever. And the surgeon is the boy's father. It's figured out both the correct and the incorrect answer. And we're printing out right now 17 tokens a second. We're hopefully going to fix that spaceship. And look at that. <laughs> There's a spaceship now flying around. It hasn't got the 3D follow on camera, but it's running. So we managed to fix it just by starting a new conversation and pasting in the code. And we now got a spaceship flying around. Okay, that, that's pretty cool. This is why you need to start thinking about whoosh, combining your max together, distributing this situation together and just seeing how well it goes. All right, guys, let me know what you guys think. I'm of course, uploading the quant to this version. So if you do only have you poppy people, if you know, little people out there, I only have the 512 in my max digital. <laughs> you can always run it on this guy. Hope you guys found this video useful and enjoyed the show. And we now got a spaceship flying around. Okay, that, that's pretty cool.